Original Sin 2. I feel like um, this, this playthrough has gone on long enough and I want to get to the end of it, not least to see what happens at the end. Although I am still enjoying it very much all the way through. It's been a great game. Great game. Although the story has left me kind of guessing as to where it's going to go. Unlike the first one, in where I, I could see a direction it was heading. And uh, although it had a twist at the end of that, it, it definitely felt like it was building up to that point. This one, I'm not sure quite how this one's going to work out. So I guess, uh, I guess we shall see. So we ended off the last stream just at the entrance to the Elf Temple here. And we're going to go and talk to El Elfo here. And then go and see if we can find Bishop Alexander. And just see what the hell is going on in this place. Because I really don't know. So it looks like we're live, everything's working and recording. Let's jump in. We've got El Aso Hero here. Let's go and talk to this knight of Tear Sendilus. Sendilius. You identify your Hush now. You know who I am. Hey Smitty, thank you very much for 30 months of subscribing. That's awesome. Thank you. I will raise a glass to you. Cheers very much. And uh thanks for the support. I I I love the long time subs. I love all the subs, of course, but it really amazes me that people have actually wanted to watch my content for as long as some of you guys have. And, uh, yeah, it means a lot, so thanks very much. Identify your cell. The elf's deep golden eyes go wide with recognition. A strange smile dances across his mouth, and he starts to roar with laughter. I am the god Woken. You! The gods chose you as their champion. Yes, sadly. Run home, little god Woken. You find only death here. Hmm. You've killed more Void Woken than you can count to get here. You're not turning back now. We have all swatted flies. That is not what lies ahead of you. You are not worthy of this temple. Leave. Run back to your hearth. Cower there while death searches for you. <laughs> I could attack him. Tell the elf you've been to the afterlife and back to get here. He will stand aside or be cut down. The laughter dies from the elf's eyes, replaced with weary seriousness. Good. It is proper that the god Woken should not be so easily pushed away. <laughs> Too many are not ready for the trials ahead. Uh, if I hadn't come into this encounter with Fane, I accidentally had Fane selected when we chatted to this guy at the end of the last stream, and I kind of knew that that response was coming, I would have thought that was going towards a fight, and I would have been very reluctant to have gone down that route. But uh, as it turns out, a bit of hindsight works wonders. You don't get to watch live because of work a lot. You usually watch at night when winding down. I wish I could stream more on a night. I'd love to because it's, it's a good time. There's like a bigger audience on Twitch because you've got all of the US and Canada, uh, all of Europe, all of the UK. It's a great time. You've got more competition from other streamers as well, of course. There, there is that. Uh, but uh, I don't know. If I, if I stream late into the evening, say till 9 or 10 o'clock, I just, I, I can't wind down afterwards and, and get to bed. And also it sort of interferes with the, the family time as well. I never, I, I used to do it, but I never ended up having meal times with the family. So an afternoon was this kind of um, the compromise. And uh, luckily, as you say, we've got uh, YouTube to, to catch up on. So but I appreciate you watching all the same. Thanks very much. Okay, too many are not ready for the trials ahead. You may proceed. You'll find no threat here. Not from me, at least. Okay, ask what's going on. The island's been overrun by the Black Ring. The island is not overrun. This temple stands strong. Oh, I stand corrected. You have to know games after around 9.30 or you don't sleep as well. It's certain games. It's not that they sort of... I get an, like an adrenaline rush. I'm sure there's some games I, I could. I haven't played anything like that for a while. Um, it's that uh, you go to bed with everything buzzing around your head and you go to bed thinking... Yeah, now if I take the bones to the elf at the temple, maybe if I do that and then cast a magic spell on them at the same time as summoning the demon, maybe that will open the door to the cave and I can go and talk to the troll king and get the treasure from him. And you, your mind goes round in loops like that. And uh, I end up lying awake, so I, I've, I've got to stop playing um, before it gets too late, otherwise <laughs> I, I don't sleep. The other gods were clearly not as powerful as Terse and Delius. Oh, well... We'll maybe not comment on that. In his fortress, the Black Ring do not succeed. They do not kill the God Woken, but... But they do not fail. Now, Knights and God Woken both cower behind monsters, tied to sticks. 
Um, you feel a way to the black mirror in your pocket. Ask if Alexander is around. Yes, he resides here for a time. He and his troop commandeered the top level of my temple. He is not the godwoken I expect. Few ferocious warriors bring an army. Or shrieking monsters tied to posts. Yes, I, I got rid of those shriekers. If Ale is Alexander under your protection then? I protect the godwoken of this temple from the Black Ring, from the Magisters, from all threats of this world, but not from other godwoken. Good. That is a very important point. For you, it's a heart rate. Takes a while to wind down before you can fall asleep. Uh, there's some games that just put me in a black mood. Like, if I, I used to play World of Tanks. And if you've been having good games, it's great. If, if you've been having bad games, you'd come off, and I'd just be in a black mood, and uh, no, that's not not the sort of attitude to go to bed on or come and see the rest of the family with. What one god woken does to another is divine business. It must not be interfered with. Uh, demand to know who he is. Why is he protecting the god woken? The elf raises a bushy eyebrow. One demands from one's lessers. I am your equal, God Woken. Once, I stand where you stand. My God's chosen, fighting to be the divine. The trials do not kill me, but neither do I triumph. Another becomes divine, and I remain here to serve Terse and Delius and protect his chosen. So what comes next? How do I become divine? It is not the place of a knight to reveal such things. We walked your path once. You must discover it yourself, as we did. Turn to the gods. Their guidance alone will lead you. Yeah, to be fair, the gods' guidance so far has been a little bit sketchy. May Ralic ever watch over you. Oh, that's kind of him. All right, so, um, yeah, I am quite impressed by the attitude of, of this particular elf, anyway. Uh, this looks like it, there's loads of people to talk to here. We'll go up this way first. This looks like a big place to explore. Or oh, we should have this on. Who the hell have we got here? Hang on, there's stuff. A large flame rune. Is that down on the floor? Oh my god, we need to get down there. I like large runes. Looks like we might be able to progress down there after a bit. Uh, I am lost already. Hang on. We came in to see him and came up this way. Who's this? Listener priest. The elven priest fervently prays. Tell us what to do, brave Tears and Elias. The Black Ring are on the threshold, and yet they fear us. I know it. They fear who we are. They fear the elves. Nobody fears the elves. Trade the t trade the merchants. Make trade. The creature runs a black tongue across its maw while staring at you hungrily. For a brief moment, you see row upon row of jagged teeth stretching right back to its gullet. Where did you come from? A distant, hungry place. Your war draws me. Make trade or leave. Ooh, ah, ah. Giant flame rune. Five grand. Suddenly I'm thinking I shouldn't have spent quite so much money on skill books. But still, we are quite well equipped for skill books now and I don't think I need any more. I don't think I need any of these anyway. I haven't used half the ones I've got. Summon an oily blob scroll. Five grand a piece. I mean, it's adding damage as air damage to things, but it's got dodging on an amulet. That's got crit chance of six percent, and I could probably boost that up. I want the I want the um, the masterwork runes if I can. Is it only masterwork after I combine it? Which are the ones that do physical damage then? I don't like adding elemental damage to physical weapons because, as you know, some of the things I attack are healed by certain elemental damages, and if you put all your eggs into that one weapon, one basket. And you're hitting it for physical damage, but then healing it for some, like, earth damage, if it's an earth elemental at the same time. Kind of pointless. I'm trying to think of a, a, a use for those. Would it be... I guess it would go on a staff. If we put it on a staff or a wand, it would add to the damage that they already do. On a staff would be probably quite good. 
So, I need to sell some stuff. I'm still not sure which of these... Oh, I'm going to get rid of that one. Mm, no, I need. I could do with improving his attitude, but uh, I'll just have to sell what I've got. Ah, that did a lot. I'm going to keep that for now. That's the one that does earth damage. So, if I've got another that does earth damage... I think I can do away with that one now. Yeah, I can do away with that one. I think Greaves can go. I'm just going to keep my option of elemental damage weapons because, well, for those reasons. Oh, I can get rid of that. And that and that. We did pick up a load of crap. <laughs> this is a good opportunity to get rid. I've not found a use for animal scales. A bowl, diamonds, malachite. And we're saving that for a, a nice rune that we get. Hey, Tiger Faust, how's it going? Oh, by the way, uh, for your, um, for the hydrate and for the one that you missed yesterday. Cheers. Pan streaming a movie, but Discord's literal worst. <laughs> Mark streaming and your son won't crap. Oh my God, that is a... We won't go too far into that. <laughs> we don't want to know too much about that. I've just taken my dog for a walk and he's now nicknamed Wolfie Six Shits. Uh, you can probably guess why. Anyway, where were we? We were selling rubbish. Um, some of my other characters have some stuff to sell. Was I keeping those? That's a finesse. Nah. And probably the ones. I can probably get rid of the ones, right? 9 to 11. Yes. That's level 5. Oh my god. Level 5. Get rid. I've never used the staffs. Not to say I won't use the staffs. I just like having the shields on there. It's 3 intelligence on that one. Hold on to that for a bit. Sell the silver bar. Sell the hunting necklace. Sell the diviners. And yeah, go on, get rid. Get rid. We'll cash in. I know Beast, hang on, we'll come to Beast in a minute. He's got a lot of stuff to sell. A medium masterwork room. It's only medium. If I can get a large or a giant one, that would be so good. I can combine that though with that frame, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off and wait and see. Don't sell the purging ones, because they are they are good. Spine winder looks good. Yeah, sell that. Sell that. Magical lizard staff. See, I do. I have nice stuff. I have nice stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Firewater staff. Oh, that is that is pretty nice. Oh, he's equipped with a purging wand, is he? Right, we need to put it. Oh, right. Be careful, I don't sell the actual wand. Then he needs. Uh, sell those. Oh, God, not another one of these. Damn spam bots. There's a lot of these. On here. Have I gone? Picture's gone? I'm still here, I think. Anyone let me know? Has the stream cut out? Not saying drop frames or anything. Browser cocked up. That'll teach you to click on things that you shouldn't click on. <laughs> uh, okay, Beast. Let's let's clear out Beast. Uh, oh, God. Beast does have a lot of crap, so... Get rid of those. A bar of soap and a pitcher and a bowl. And one of those and one of those. Um, oh, he's got one of them as well. And they, I mean, they look amazing, but they, they are only medium things. Sadly. Two useless books. Elven tribal... I might keep that one. The Undead Among Us. Uh, Mordus' skill research. I don't know. I think I should probably save those. I'm guessing I don't need any of these. I'm just going to sell all them. If I wanted them, I would have had them on, right? Why haven't I got that equipped? Oh, because it's part of his, his set. Fair enough. That can definitely go. Those are old. Ceremonial dagger. Magical wand of the lizard. 
I don't know what he's doing with that. The magical lizard's bow. Oh, I've got a better bow, so get rid of that one. It is nice having a good clear out. Look at that, another five grand. Except. So we're up to 26 grand. So if I wanted to buy any of those, I could. But uh, we won't. No. But I do feel a little bit better off for that. A customer. Perhaps you'd like to oh, trade. good, good. Find something to safeguard your... Jobo in the merchant. His lascivious eyes flick over you to skin crawling effect. Vulnerable flesh. I've never seen a creature like him. Where have you come from? A distant place called Nemesis. I couldn't resist the lure of this world, though. Such bloodshed and despair truly does loosen purse strings. He has definitely played another character in this game, because that voice is terribly familiar. I mean, it's a good bit of voice acting. Oh, what have we got? I can't use any of them. So I'm not even going to look. The necromancer stuff, though. Oh, that's probably... Bone totems. I do think that that... Oh, I already know it. Great. Good, that's all, that's all we need to know then. And I don't think I need to know anything else there. Good. Right, we can think about those. Um, but what about the gloves? Magical hammered scale gloves. Mm, necromancy summoning and a crap ton of hit points. Ooh, that is good. Yeah, that dominate mind skill is... Probably get rid of that. Warfare. Warfare scoundrel. I don't know. I don't think it's worth buying. A magical elven shield? That might be worth buying. For a, uh, a ton of extra physical armour. What are we looking at? 4,660. 74 hit points. Nah, I'll... I don't know. Which one of these two characters kind of needs it the most? They're both using... Oh, he's got a four initiative on that one. Go on then, we're going to have you going a bit earlier. I am going, I am going to buy that. It's an expensive one. Two-handed sword. With a lot of... Oh my word, but it's 8,900. They shouldn't offer me these nice things. They really shouldn't. A magical headdress. Okay, that's, these are the things I... I, I can happily say I feel like I can manage without. The possible... No, I'm sure I've got better than that. Wolf hide armor. Nope. Good. Good, good, good. And a wizard mantle. Inflict burning. Apart from the armor, which is nice, the rest doesn't matter. So it's just this one. And I think I'm just going to hand over the cash for it. What's this that we've got here? A coat of conjuring. I'm not quite sure why that's in there. But we'll try and mitigate some of the costs. Okay. Nice. Done. I'm not I'm not gonna buy anything else. That was my one and only purchase there, I think. Who actually got that? Oh, I bought it on Fane, didn't I? I should have bought it on him because he's got bartering, but uh, it'll be fine. Four initiative is a nice improvement. Okay, we can send that over there. I will I will sell it, but not necessarily here. Next time we get to a another vendor. And there's no... Oh, can I go across this? Looks like I can. The priestess is oblivious to you. Instead, she's locked in frantic, desperate prayer. Almighty oh, Duna, save your children. Deliver us from the void. Almighty oh, Duna, save. Nothing too interesting going on there. A lizard monk. I guess it's just all the different priests from the different races. Have you been to the temple of Zolstissa? Is the king's knight safe? Is Zor Stissa's chosen champion safe? I will promise to keep an eye out if I find myself there. I fear that they are lost, 
but I thank you for your kindness. I shall pray for your deliverance and for theirs. He lowers his head, closes his eyes, and silently begins to pray. I maybe should have had this character on. I don't know who where that is. It's all sister. Have I been there? Is it on this island? This is I, ooh, I wonder the if they have temples to everywhere on this island. Like this left in the world. Not since Temple of Rally. The death fog on the There's elves. a lunar shrine. Maybe not then. Bishop Alexander. I guess that's where we're going. The rest of the island doesn't look like it's big enough to hold all these temples, so... A lunar priest. Elven High Priestess. Godwoken, the mother tree calls you. Follow the spirit. Climb to the heart of the tree. The mother awaits. Sure thing. The mother tree calls you, Godwoken. You slaughtered Riker last night and Juno was unhappy with my decision to kill the creep. No oh, <laughs> um, I, I, think, ready. I think I dealt with Juna first. Lower your weapons. What is going on here? Gareth, listen to me. I have heard enough. Oh I no! I will have your head, Seeker. It's Gareth. He's going to try and kill Bishop Alexander. I'm just going to do a quick save here. Be at ease, Magister Rowe. Weapons down. Gareth, I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Our man's over there as well. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade resting flat across his palms. A gesture of goodwill and peace. Uh, I don't know about him yet. I don't. <laughs> I could cheer Gareth on. Yeah, I'll bellow at Alexander. I want, to, I want to show support for my man here. He must explain himself, though. Whatever Alexander's reply might have been, it is drowned by Gareth's alarming chuckle. Godwoken, have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. Hi, Benji. Welcome back. Oh, Juna's your god. Ah, you're playing as a dwarf. I see. Okay. I was thinking, because I saw Juna's servant... The vulture thing, spirit. Well, whatever it was, that's I, I visited her. <laughs> this slug defends his own cruelty on the basis of ignorance. He expects me to forgive him for everything he's taken from me. Every fallen seeker, every friend, every slain godwoken. My own parents. He says this to me while their flesh still rots in the graves I dug for them. He's got a good amount of health. But he's going to have the rest of these guys on him, so... I'm going to see how this plays out. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner. Yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. Now, see, the thing is, I can do a strength persuasion and I'm pretty sure it would work. However... Memory persuasion... I mean, that's the better one to take, but I I don't have as good a memory. Juvenile. If I say juvenile, I'm going to try this anyway. Urge Gareth to lower his weapon. He must overcome this cruelty and rage. And it worked. There, I've gone the gentle route. I, 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 it, whether it makes for a different result, I don't know. But I, I feel happier having gone for that. Gareth looks to you, then to Alexander. He digs his teeth into his lower lip until blood seeps out from the tender skin. The silence is thick, yet neither Gareth nor Alexander move. And yet Alexander needs to explain himself. You are not Damien. You are not Damien. Damien. My sins have been as great as yours, Alexander. I've just been too blind to see them. It's just... your father. You could forgive Alexander when I could not, Godwoken. I hope you show me the same kindness. I will meet you aboard the Lady Vengeance when you are ready. Just to point out, I haven't forgiven Alexander yet. <laughs> so this could still result in a fight. However, Gareth is alive and I don't think he would be if that fight had gone ahead. Okay, I'm just going to 
we've got to go and speak straight to the main man here. Sadly. As you approach Alexander, Ifan catches you by the shoulder. Can you hear that beeping, by the way? There's a truck reversing outside. Let me know if you can, and I'll shut the window. You know how long I've sought, Alexander. I need this. Tell him to go right ahead. Your interest in Alexander wore out of... Yeah, go then. Ifan strides forwards and feints a punch at Alexander's nose with his right hand. As the Divine Bishop raises his hands to protect himself, Ifan grasps both of his wrists and headbutts him. It's my kind of greeting. As Alexander staggers back, blood streaming from his nose, Ifan tightens his grip on Alexander's wrists and spits a question. I like how these guys are just watching. <laughs> Why? Why did you and Lucian send me on a suicide mission to kill the elves? Why did you lie to me? Alexander wrenches his hands free from Ifan's grasp and holds his broken nose, blood streaming between his shaking fingers. Why? The same reason we did everything. To protect the realm. What price all of Rivalon against just one portion? Any divine would do the same if it meant saving everything. Preemptive hydrate response there, thanks. You should be proud my father picked you. His best right-hand man. He knew you would make it. But he also knew that if he told you the truth, you would falter. He knew you well, Ifan. He knew you'd have to be tricked. But I'm his son. I can be trusted to the end. And I will take any actions necessary for the good of all. Nothing can stop me. Not even death. He doesn't sound like he's on our side, does he? Ifan draws his weapon. His hands are steady, calm and controlled as can be. Death stops everyone eventually. You rose from the dead once. You won't rise this time. He's not being very apologetic or anything like that. Leave him to his vengeance. He stands over Alexander and stabs him seven times. When the deed is done, Alexander lies lifeless. Ifan stands trembling, his hands covered in the blood of the Divine's only son. And it's a fight. Cheeky sod. Right, so Ifan now gets to go. Who's got no magical armor? So he's dead then, and we have to kill everybody here. Fair enough, I think I can do that. Now then, I think I'm going to summon a demon. Pundrin incarnate up the top of there. <laughs> up he goes. Let's give him some power infusion. And let's encourage everybody. Is he got he's got marked, but nothing else. That's okay. Right then, who shall we hit first? I mean, I don't know. I I have no idea. I, I wanted to talk to bloody Alexander and I wanted to see what the plan was and what was going on, but I don't feel like I've been presented with the information I should have had to be able to make a choice in that situation. I could have stopped Ifen, but, uh, yeah, screw it. We're going for this. Yes, I know. And he died just like that. Just like that. It's, it's obviously scripted, but, I mean, it's, it would have been a hell of a hard fight. We couldn't have just gone stab, stab and killed him, I'm sure. Anyway, let's, uh, stop whinging and let's kill these two up here. I'd rather not kill poor old Dolores. But anyway, it looks like he's on their side now. Smack! Right, they're lining themselves up for a nice juicy fireball up there. Who are we on? We are on Beastie Boy. Where should I go? I need to I need to tactical retreat somewhere. I'm gonna go there. Stand in the blood. 
In fact, let's do an elemental blood thing here. Let's, let's suck some of that up. And... Oh, I should have maybe, when I was right next to someone, unloaded with this... Can't do it now, but the arrow spray. When you're really close to someone, they, they suck up the entire lot. The hell? That's some serious physical armor on that guy. He's going next. I won't be able to knock him down. What's my knockdown arrow do? Oh, might. I'm going to try and knock this guy down. And it worked. It looked like he took that one to the head. 